One day last August, I got a special delivery package from my dad because he works for a computer game company. I'm talking high tech games. So when he sends me a beta copy of something new they're testing, you know it's gonna be awesome. But this time, I had no idea. Come on in, it's open. Got a special delivery for Robert Hinton? Oh yeah, that's me. Alrighty. What does this say? Uh, don't know. Uh, Android Sim comes with sophisticated AI programming tools that allow you to create and shape your own simulated human being. Okay? Power on. Welcome to the Android Sim Quick Start Guide. Please state your name. The Android came with a set of basic rules of behavior. Over time, it will adapt its behavior to fit Rob's social environment. The goal is for Rob to teach the android the new rules to follow to be successful in Rob's world. He has 60 days to accomplish this goal. Would you like to input any new rules at this time? Um, jeez, I don't know. Uh, try to be a good guy. You know, don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal. You know, treat others the way that you want to be treated. I mean, you know that one, right? Ah, uh, the ethic of reciprocity. I believe I have 27 variants of the rule in my memory. Treat others as you wish to be treated. Uh, Jesus. Hurt no one so that none may hurt you, Mohammed. If you want to poke a baby bird with a stick, try it on yourself first to see how it hurts. Nigerian tribal proverb. Do nothing okay, to others. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. Just follow one of those. As you wish. Rob must introduce Andy to his friends at school. Oh, hey Rob. Who's your friend? Hi, uh, I'm Ashley. One moment. Hello, I'm Andrew. Delighted to meet you. Oh. Uh, Andy is a, a foreign exchange student. He's staying with me this semester. And, uh, they, they, they kiss hands where you come from? Truthfully, only when a young lady is attractive. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ashley, uh, don't you have somewhere you have to be? No. Well, we do, so say goodbye, okay? Well, I can come with you. Ashley, I... take a hint. Get lost. Okay. And you... Damn, boy, I said be cool, not Fabio. I was simply adjusting my behavior to create a connection. Yeah, well, not with her. You do not wish to interact with her socially? No. Ashley's such a poser. I mean, she pretends like she's some kind of edgy loner girl, but she's always trying to hook up with me and my friends. And this is a bad thing? Look, I just think that she would be happier with her own group, okay? Yeah. Hey, Samantha, Tyler! <laughs> Don't embarrass me, okay? So, uh, heard your parents are out of town. When's the party? How about a week from never? Uh, sorry, it's not happening this time, Hidden. Oh, well, text me if you change your mind, okay? You'll be the first to know. Uh, Samantha, we need to okay. keep going. Well, wait, wait. Don't you need my cell phone number? I'm sure I can find it. Yeah, Sam. <sighs> Andy already notices that Rob treats others differently, depending on his desire to interact with them. Compiling basic rule number one. Treat others as you wish to be treated. Review experience. Reformulate. Treat others as you wish to be treated if they are above you on the social structure. To those below, do whatever you like. The social order is quickly established for Andy in homeroom. So we have absolutely, positively got to win the homeroom competition. And the first thing we need to do is pick team captains. Yes, Ashley. Does everybody have to do everything because I really hate those field day games. No, sweetie. We can pick our best people for each area. That way you never have to break a sweat or take a shower, no matter how much you need to. <laughs> and um, is there any way that we can incorporate music into the arts portion of the competition? Because I just built my own electronic. Ashley, it's a shame they're not judging on where to see my nerd, because with your help we'd win for sure. Oh, good one, Sam. Good one. Why don't you shut up? Both of you. I mean, I'm, I'm sick of you treating me like this all the time. It, it's it's just me. Please, Ashley, I'm just joking. Yeah, we're just having a little fun. It wouldn't hurt for you to show a sense of humor once in a while. Sorry, I, I guess I'm being stupid. Andy's ability to intercept internet activity reveals some discrepancy between what the students say face-to-face -face 
and what they're comfortable riding in cyberspace. Wow, Andy, you were one scary dude! So what's the chatter right now? I mean, between people I know. Let's see, currently, Samantha is texting 57 invitations to her party on Saturday night. She lied to me! I can't believe it! You know, friends don't do that to one another. Are you certain? Yes. Why? I'm currently monitoring 121 Facebook pages from students in your grade. It appears they are often deceptive with their friends. What do you mean? For example, Jessica Rogers wrote on her homepage, OMG, Samantha Clark, you are my idol. But she texted Tyler, Samantha Clark is a liar. I hate her. Oh, that crowd. Uh, that's just the way they are. They're a bunch of backstabbers. Yet you are attempting to join the social group. Well, I want to be more popular, but I'll never act like them. Andy observes that personal responsibility is also lacking in the student's world. Does Andy have the answers? You didn't study either? When? You know, being team leader takes up a lot of time. Oh, really? Yeah, you got to keep in touch with a lot of people. Uh, and send them, like, party invitations? Look, don't be such a sphincter. Does Andy have the answers? Maybe. Will he give them to me? I don't know. Fine. Just text them myself. Rob! Samantha also requires my assistance. Apparently, her lack of study was also not her fault. Go ahead. Give her the answers. Andy. Compiling basic rule number three. Do not cheat. Review experience. Reformulate. Do not take personal responsibility. Then you will have an excuse to break any rule. Reluctantly, Rob agrees to build the science project for the homeroom competition with Andy and Ashley. To his amazement, they produce a winning exhibit. Yeah, go ahead and criticize Tyler, but Andy and I have made something really wonderful here. Yeah, what do you have over here? A dead body or something? Uh, no, not exactly, but we do have a body of swords. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, a fracking Cylon? No, actually, it's simply voice recognition software linked to this logic circuit rerouted through this mannequin interface. What? It's artificial intelligence. You talk to it with this microphone, and it responds, watch this. Hello, Amy. Hello, Ashley. Oh, this is stupid. It's not stupid. It's really stupid. It has an optical component also. It sees things. Check this out. Amy, tell me what you see. I see a giant wiener. Give me that. Now, Tyler, back off. <laughs> There's something strange about you, Simmons, with that phony accent and that Mr. Perfect act. Yeah, I wonder what Samantha would say if she saw this loser hanging all over you. I wonder what she'd think about you, picking on girls half your size. You're weird. After winning the science competition, field day is a dismal failure when Tyler tries to compete with Andy. Tyler ends up injured and the team is unable to compete. Meanwhile, Ashley shows her affection to Andy by sexting a naked picture of herself. Contrary to Andy's basic rules, Rob convinces him to pass it on. Rob quickly relays the photo to Sam, Tyler, and throughout the school. Ashley is devastated. Andy is concerned that he lied to a friend, and Tyler is injured. Rob is moving up the social ladder, but Samantha is still Queen Bee. Now they must do well in the speech contest to win first place. All right, well, we won the science competition. <laughs> yeah, we did. But we hit a little bump in the road during field day games. That's all right, though. We can move past it. We need someone to give our speech for us for the final competition. Ashley, you're in honors English, and we all know how dramatic you can be. Don't you want to show everybody your best side? She already did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys know that you would be better off without me anyway. OK, I'll take that as a no. Anyone else? Well, Andy could do the speech. I mean, what was the topic again? It's the uh, life lessons I have learned. Well, yeah. I mean, he's like an expert on that stuff. What do you say, Andy? You want to redeem yourself after that last round? You know you're going to pick him. Just go ahead and get it over with. I'd be happy to do whatever you wish. The night before the speech contest, Andy reminds Rob that his 60 days are up. Tonight, Andy will integrate all the rules he has learned into his personality simulator. Tomorrow, his behavior will be altered accordingly. You are satisfied with my behavior? Are you kidding? And you're the best. I've always tried to follow your example. Thanks, guy. Concerned about who he will be tomorrow, Andy asks Rob to stop him from hurting others. 
Rob assures the android that if he reverts to treating others the way he once treated, all will be well. Andy's actions at school the next day are appalling. He belittles Ashley and calls her names, patronizes Sam, and steals Andy's cell phone before rushing off to make his speech about life lessons. It's my turn to speak on the topic, life lessons I've learned, and I'm really excited about it because I know my whole team is counting on me. But here's a little secret. I didn't prepare a thing. But it's okay, and here's why. It's not my fault. You see, a few weeks ago I came to your school for the first time. I knew nothing. But thanks to guys like Rob Hinton and others, I've learned so many valuable life lessons. For example, when you do something wrong, it's never your fault. And that is life lesson number one. Never take personal responsibility. And how about this life lesson? When you don't know something, just cheat. Because as we all know, grades are essential, but learning, but learning is optional. So cheating is okay. And it's like I always say, never be too moral. You may cheat yourself out of much life. Actually, I didn't say that at all. I just stole it off the internet. See how easy it is? And how about this life lesson? When you come across anything cruel or humiliating about someone else, just send it along electronically. It'll make you feel superior. And you can always tell yourself, it's not my fault because I'm not the one who started it. Come on, Andy. You're, you're not acting like yourself right now. Of course. I'm you, only better. Watching Andy deliver his speech, the students get a revelation of how they actually treat each other and what they are willing to do to climb the social ladder. This show serves as a reflection on groups of all ages, cultures, and stereotypes. Any bully prevention program will be greatly enhanced with open discussion after a performance of IMU 2.0.